this is Fashion, Art, and Media. I'm Lydia Cutler, and today I have a guest all the way from the Philippines. He's going to be telling you a bit about himself and what he does in the fashion industry. Welcome, please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm John Guarnes from the Philippines. <laughs> so, hi. Hi, hi. I'm excited to meet you and you know I'm so happy that you invited me over to your um, program. Thank you very much. I am also happy to have you here today. Yeah. How okay. long have you been uh, how long have you been doing fashion design? Um, you know, if I'm going to tell the story, it will take time. <laughs> so we have time. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I started like nine years old. So oh. until now, so I won't mention my age. <laughs> 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 so anyway, so I started like nine years old. I started that uh, like um, have an awareness because of my mother, who's also who's a dressmaker and a oh, designer wow. herself also. So mm -hmm. she um, so for socialite people here in Manila, in the Philippines. So and then um, those awareness that I used to uh, play around her sewing machine, under her sewing machine, I play around there. I cut all her catalogs. That's why she's so mad at me every <laughs> <laughs> So every time, every time that she saw her catalog, it's already destroyed and cut off, ripped <laughs> off because I played around of all these things until yeah. one day, um, one of her clients asked me to, um, you know, John, can you design for me? And then I was so surprised. And like my mom was just like, you know, she's, she's really good in, in, in designing and drawing nine years old. And then um, eventually as I go forward, um, during my elementary school, my, I already keep on designing for national cost, for costume in the uh, world um, organization, um, something like that, because we have the October uh, nation parade uh, right. So I, I designed costumes for every country. And then, um, it, you know, those are the things that I start uh, doing until uh, during my college days, I work with my friends um, mm -hmm. shop. And then she asked me, John, you are good in designing, drawing and something like that. So I want you to work in my shop. I want you to be trained as a designer until mm -hmm. I work with my, um, until somebody until so, when I graduated my college, but you know, I right. didn't, um, I didn't um, took up um, fashion designing. I took up communication arts because I wanted to be right. a broadcaster. I want to be a journalist. Right. Okay, so anyway, right. um, until um, um, I, I, I used to be a, a stage actor and one of um, the, my friend asked me if I can help her in doing the costume of our, the production that I'm involved with also. So that's how I began involved in the fashion industry. When my first boss asked me already if I wanted to be a fashion designer, mm -hmm. then uh, yeah. that's, that's, that's my life and my journey as a fashion designer. So I've been in the fashion mm -hmm. industry for 30 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have interviewed people. No one has asked that. No, no, no. 30 yeah. years? That's a long yes, time. Because I, yeah, because I started very young. So which yes. means I never counted like young professional, but I already started counting my, my awareness in yes. the fashion. So, yeah. Yes. This is wonderful. <laughs> this yeah. is wonderful. So who do you make your... your um, clothes for is it uh, women's wear men's wear kids wear actually I, I i love to work on air because they call me a versatile designer because i don't right. want to be um categorized like i'm just an avant-garde i'm just this so i want to try everything so um nice. actually i have i used to have a children's uh, clothing line in one of the department store which is the prime department store in the philippines oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, I used to have, and then I also make for men's wear. I also mm -hmm. make for ladies' wear. I also make for 
wedding, couture. So I made also wow. uh, custom made for client. So I do everything, everything that can make money. <laughs> do you know you are just awesome? <laughs> anything wow. that that you Maxim. turn your design into money, right? So exactly. You know. <laughs> Thank you. This is it. Everything has to be money. Yes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> that <laughs> fair enough. I like that. I like that. So yeah. I see that you are a really big designer in that you have uh, your collection in the shops. Yeah. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. that's great so, so what um, uh -huh. okay so i've been in the I, i've been doing like um uh joining competition when i started really right. uh so um i joined competition i joined um fashion australia which i won as a grand finalist a, a oh, grand wow. winner sorry a grand winner in fashion uh -huh. australia and then I joined the Paris Young Designer Competition where I got uh, as one of the uh, finalists in yeah. Paris. Then I also joined the Smirnoff Design Competition, uh, mm -hmm. which is um, in London. So I'm one of the semi-finalists. So, so um, and then those things are, are really help a lot for me to right. boost my confidence in the fashion industry. Right. Amazing. Yeah. And you also, are great. Uh -huh. and also I teach in the college and mm -hmm. uh, in fashion design in one of the prime um, uh, school university here in the Philippines. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. But now I, <laughs> so I teach for <laughs> almost 15 years, but oh, I resign nice. already. That's where I concentrated. I concentrated now in our TV program. Which is gonna right. be me. <laughs> See, I did not know that you're also a lecturer. Yes. Wow. And I'm also lecturing like fashion image, branding image, and personality wow. development. So I do wow. like, you know, um, training, wow. resource uh -huh. speaker uh, in terms of uh, fashion, merchandising, yes. production. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So, on all these, which one do you uh, enjoy doing most? Is um, it um, uh, designing or lecturing? Actually, um, when I, I before I used to be a lecturer, I, I really involved myself um, in fashion. So I, I get involved in in production, designing, um, um, art, ready to wear custom made and everything until I decided that I was offered to uh, teach in a university which is also my passion to teach because I really wanted to share my knowledge Your because knowledge, this yes. is the only way that I can able to impart whatever God has given me the talent mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, in in that way I, re I can return to God the favor and the blessings the creativity that he has um, given me so in in this way I can uh, when when time passes, when time comes by that I'm not I'm no longer in this world, so I already made a legacy. I made uh, you exactly. know contribution contribution in the fashion industry by um, uh, nourishing exactly. and, and and helping and teaching young designers. And 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 fortunately, some uh, some of my students are now one of those top designers in the Philippines and in all over wow. the world. Yeah. So I'm in, in their great. success, I'm part of them, right? That's great. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Now we go to your journalism. So you you also <clears throat> write for a fashion uh, magazine. Yeah, I used to write. I used to write in a fashion magazine, but now mm -hmm. I'm writing in a, a, a tabloid a newspaper here in the Philippines, which is one of number one tabloid in the Philippines, which I have a column about fashion of the day. Now I just, I, I have another one is the, um, in Tagalog, it's, it calls Pasikate um, Natin To, uh, or in English, we call it like, I'll make them a star. Right. So that, that's, that, that's my column because uh, in, in fashion of the day, I teach about fashion. 
but I told my my editor like you know at this time of the pandemic it's really hard to talk about passion because it's not really an essential at the no. moment because no. people are doesn't really buy clothes Be- people are really not so conscious about their their image or, you know their look True. because their first concern now is for them to eat you know food to to eat That's so true. i told them i told them uh, i want to write on another uh, i want to have another column which is pasikatin mm-hmm. natin siya or i'll make it i'll make them a star or you know yeah. something like that so this one my my uh, advocacy here is to help help and promote artists help right. and promote some uh, um um products that is not the usual product is not the right. the ordinary talents that they have because I want uh, to showcase them and able to help them to be recognized and be uh, acknowledged. And once they they I once I gave them the the you know the, the popularity the recognition mm-hmm. uh, in the world in the in, in our in the in our country. So mm-hmm. everyone will have the work and business. So. Like I have, I have friend. Like I, I help her. Uh, mm-hmm. She, she paints. Now I feature her on my column. Now everyone mm-hmm. buys her painting. Oh wow! So yes, and then I have another one very young, talented artist. He does mm-hmm. a painting made out of rust, wow. metal rust. So it's yes. very unique. Yeah, and then Too he painted unique, me. Actually. Yes, very unique. So he painted uh-huh. me. And then he showed it to me and said, Sir John, this is my gift for you on your birthday. Wow, I'm oh. so surprised. So, you know, mm. what's this? That this is my painting. Wow. So I want to feature you on my, um, on my column. You know, after I featured him, she's, yes. he said like, Sir John, I'm so happy because I have so many works now. Right. Like, you know, people are calling him, commissioning uh-huh. him to do a work for him. Right. See? So I'm helping at the same time, um, given all this opportunity to be recognized. Mm-hmm. That's brilliant. And then That's brilliant. W- another one, um, there's mm-hmm. a hairstylist. I featured mm-hmm. him also just, um, you know, previous, uh, just lately. And then he was, I, he was so happy now right. he's been recognized. <laughs> Amazing. You are creating talent, especially during pandemic. That's awesome. Yes. Yes, that's, yes. Because, that's a great thing you're doing. Yeah, because I think this is the right time that we can help each other. We have to help each other. This is true. Collaborating one another so that we mm-hmm. don't, you know, we don't really focus on what we can get out of it. But what's so important is to help one another so that's we can true. boost our economy back, right? That's you know, true. because at this time, a lot of people are really, you know, anxious about and depressed about the situation. Now, this that's is the true. time for us to lift up one another mm-hmm. encourage one another that there is always a life even in the midst of pandemic that's true thank you so much i couldn't have put it any better <laughs> thank you now yeah let's go to the tv ghana tv what does the name stand for is it uh, your name no ghana, ghana tv is something mm-hmm. like you're doing something you're doing right. a lot of things. So, um, because well, we conceived this, um, we, we conceived this during the pandemic time, during uh-huh. the lockdown. So, right. during that lockdown, we, we don't know what to do because we are inside our home. And then um, I'm starting doing the videos of myself uh-huh. and starting posting. And then a lot of people are already telling me, John, we are so encouraging, something like that. And then uh-huh. my friend, Bench, and I think he's your friend also. Yes, Brooklyn Fashion Week. Yeah. Yes. And <laughs> then he, he approaches me and he approached me and said, like, John, let's start a TV program, a digital uh-huh. TV program. And then... We concept the title and, and we started uh, calling our program Ganap TV, which is uh, in, in English, we call it like you do a lot. We, we can do a lot of things. Right. Something like that. So um, so we invited our friends, connections from all over the world. So I see them, that. Uh, asking them, what are you doing during at this time? Because we are all okay. locked down in our home. So we're telling people that there is life inside the home. So you don't have to 
um, 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 be anxious, be depressed, because in, in your little way, by doing the di digital program, get involved in social media, you can reach out to a lot of people around the world by, by exactly. encouraging them, by posting, you know, encouraging exactly. words, you know, like, something like that. So until now, uh, it's going to be one year already, our TV program, uh -huh. the longest running pandemic digital program in the oh, Philippines. Oh, wow. Congratulations <laughs> to both of Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's I said cool. longest pandemic program, TV program, because when we started starting uh -huh. this TV program, everyone follows. Right. Yeah, but some already quit. So we are the ones right. are continuously are going on? um, you know, uh, airing our own program. I tell you, I do watch a few programs, especially those that you, you, um, you. interview, <laughs> um, the beauty queens. Yes, yes. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, and they're all, all over the world. So we're not just here in the Philippines, but we, those are <laughs> contacts and connections. And you know what's so nice? People around the world are so happy that we guested them in our show. That's nice. Yeah. Yes. I saw you interviewed <laughs> somebody from Africa. Yes, Africa, um, um, South Africa, Brazil, mm -hmm. um, Netherlands, India. India, Brazil, so all over the world. That's nice. <laughs> That's really nice. In the U.S., a lot of people in the U.S., models, beauty queens, um, right. um, actors and actresses. Right. Yeah. Can we go back to your fashion design? Do you showcase, okay. uh, sometimes do you showcase anywhere else or do you just keep it yeah. in the Philippines? No, I, I, I did a show in Brooklyn for oh. five consecutive years. I think we've met there already. I had... Um, we were, uh, we were, I think I did so. a yeah, I did a show um, with Joyce Pilarski as one of my model. Yes. So, yeah, so we both started together in the show in uh, Brooklyn. So for five con right. consecutive years, we joined together. Um, so I have my own line and she has her own line. And right. then uh, we also, uh, I did shows in, uh, in, um, uh, other countries like uh, Dubai, London, and you know nice. those. But uh, you know, I'm so happy that I was given an opportunity to showcase my collection all over uh, in in other countries as well. You're great. You're great. <laughs> yes. You just then great. Um, last year we just had mm -hmm. this digital um, virtual fashion week in Brooklyn, which mm -hmm. I also joined and also benched which launched his own line as well. Yes, I know <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> Amazing. I just love what you guys do. Yes. Um, if uh, somebody wants to join the fashion industry, do you have any advice for them on what they can do? And just like what I have experienced, I, 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 at first, I didn't really want to be in the fashion industry because... I felt like this is not my world. I really wanted to be somebody else. But, you know, but, uh, but God leads me here. So, um, so I just have to embrace because where, what the Lord wants me to do is where, where I can express and, you know, and show what God has given me. So um, the only thing that I can tell to the people, like, you know, the young um, aspiring designers to be a designer, you, you, you must learn to adapt. Uh, you must mm -hmm. learn to uh, know who, what your talent is and then exactly. embrace it and, and, and hone it. What's so important is hone it. You, you yes. know, one show would not, would not uh, give you a stardom. Mm -hmm. Always remember that. Uh, so mm -hmm. you, you always think that um, you put your head and your feet on the ground all the time mm -hmm. because you know sometimes like some designers new ones they felt like if they if you are uh, have a show already you are made you know like what mm -hmm. Heidi Klum would say in in fashion today you're in and tomorrow you're out so exactly uh, it will yeah uh, it takes 
for a designer to stay longer in the industry. So like me, I've been, I, as what they've said, it took for a designer to take 25 years for you to say that you are already made a made designer. You, would, exactly. you get what I mean? So you don't just exactly. tell me and then oh, I'm already known and superstar, a diva mm -hmm. in fashion industry. You can't tell that to anyone unless mm -hmm. you are there for 25 to up, okay? This is true, <laughs> this is true yes. actually. Do yes. you know what, what you've said is very important because some younger designers think that showcasing is expensive and mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not worth it. But you see people like Gucci or Louis Vuitton, they have been showcasing all these hundreds of years. Why yes. would someone say they mm -hmm. don't want to showcase? Showcasing is very important, isn't it? Yes, very, very important. Like, you know, you really have to go far as like what me, I travel. So uh -huh. that like people will recognize my talent. You don't just this stay in your own yes. place, you know, to be recognized. You know, exactly. um, so you just re and then be recognized is um, to, you know, show what you can offer to the world right. so right. that the world would embrace whatever you have, especially your creativity. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Wonderful. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So if yeah. anyone wants to get in touch with you, your life is so exciting. What you do is exciting. How are people going to get you if they want to see your collection or just to talk to you? Yes. Yeah. So um, uh, what I, I have my Facebook account, John Guarine. So you can just browse it. I also have my Instagram, Instagram account, John Guarine as well. So everything you can see it and you just message me and then I'll just be there. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> do, you, do you have a, do you have a website? Um, uh, actually, I, but I never maintain my website. So I, right. because I'm not a techie person. So right. I just concentrate because I'm so busy person. So um, I, I, I just, I just do whatever you know, it's there for me to, you know, especially the Facebook account, now the Instagram. I think that's, I think people would rather see you right away in the, right. in your account, right? In your right. personal account. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Awesome. Great. Yeah. So, um, when, uh, when all this is over, maybe you can come to Aberdeen and see the small fashion week we have here as well. Yes, we need yes. advice from you. Of course, <laughs> of course. I would do, love to help. I would love to help. That's amazing. Yeah. Do, do you do online classes, fashion um, design classes online? Um, as of now, because I'm so busy. Maybe in the future, I would love mm -hmm. to. Like, um, um, I I do fashion sketching, fashion illustration. I mm -hmm. teach that. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, like uh, like all my illustration has been featured in the um, U.S. magazine, the Tear Sheet, right. Right. Uh, owned by Melanie Jackson. So mm -hmm. they they um, my my fashion was the cover of her um, magazine last mm -hmm. December. So I'm so honored wow. about that. Yeah. So I've been featured also in different uh, magazine, World Fashion mm -hmm. News, uh, mm -hmm. and also in uh, I was featured in. A model magazine in uh, France, mm -hmm. so and also in LA and in New York. Right. Yeah, that's really nice. Yes, only that's only great. for only last year, huh? Only last uh -huh. year, I I I I I, I uh, show my uh, PPE collection. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Um, the, yes. You will give me the links to show, well, to, to make people, because you have a few things, especially your TV is on your social media. People yes, need to talk yeah. to you, a lecturer, uh, um, yes. a great guy, a fashion yes. designer. People need to talk to you. So yes. give me the links to share with, the, with this interview. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so Final much. Final word for, for the world. What do you want to tell the world today? Um, all I tell to the world is like, um, while we are in the midst of pandemic, you don't, you don't um, focus on that situation. Focus on what you have and what you can offer to the world. Um, I know God has given each and every one the talent, the creativity. All, you ha- all we have to do is find our own niche and find our own way where we can share, where we can explore, where we can um, uh, uh, help. That's the very key and important so that um, the world will have a better place for each one of us. Oh, thank you. That's great. <laughs> thank you so much, John. I really appreciate this interview. It's been great. Yes, me too. I'm so happy, really happy. <laughs> thank you very much. Does it show that I'm happy? <laughs> <laughs> nice, very nice. <laughs> Well, yes. have a good night. Yes, and, and good uh, night to all your viewers. Keep shining. Uh-huh. Um, yes, yeah. Good night to all your viewers. I hope this is, will not be the last. Definitely. <laughs> and this is just the beginning. Yeah. Definitely. I would love to interview you and Rick together so that we can have all okay, that sure. amazing energy uh, brought in into one. Yes, interview. and reunion. Reunion. Exactly. Brooklyn <laughs> reunion Fashion with Week Ricky. reunion. <laughs> yes. That's a good yes. one. That's you know what you one. should have joined. You should have joined last um last season, last um um Brooklyn virtual fashion. I, I had no idea and I'm not ready at the moment, but the next one I will yeah. join. Yes. Sure. Yes. Yes. This uh-huh. is coming April and October also. I'll join in October because right now I'm not, I yeah. don't have a... So we'll join together. Oh, cool. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, we'll join together October. Cool. Yeah. I- I'll talk to Rick about that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. To Benj. I keep saying Rick all the time. Benj. Benj. <laughs> yes, to Benj. Well, there's Rick. Okay, but, sure, uh, sure, I'm, sure. I'm more conversant with the uh, Benj. I talk well, yes, Benji's my yeah. friend. Anyway, yeah. thank you yeah. so much. I yeah. really appreciate this. Has been great. Yes. Me too. Bye. Same oh, here. You. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you.